Now I did say there wasn't going to be a video this week, but I picked up my auction bottles and I thought I'd show you. Welcome back Dram Fam to the Whiskey Diary. Blah, 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 you know the story. I love auctions. I think you can get a great deal there. So let's get down to it. Now I will preface this video with one disclaimer, as it were, where if I say a bottle is sold out, that means that kind of on the first page of Google, that doesn't mean it's not available at auction. It doesn't mean it's not available from some wonky seller on like the ninth page of Google for triple what it was at retail. That means I couldn't reasonably find it in a reasonable space of time uh, for a reasonable price without spending my evening hunting it down. So you may find it somewhere, but that's up to you if you want to purchase it from that website at that price. But anyway, let's get to it. So at the last uh, SWA, I use Scotch whiskey auctions for one reason, and that is because it is nearby. I don't have to pay postage on the bottles because I'm usually driving into town at some point, so I can just swing by and pick them up for no postage fee. The last one, which was a couple of weeks ago, I won three bottles. I bid on about five and I ended up walking away with three. First up, we have the Glenallachy 11 year old Gratamaco cask. This is an 11 year old Speyside bottled up at 48%. It is unchill filtered, it is natural colour. It was matured in ex bourbon and it was finished in a Gratamaco wine cask. As I say, this bottle is sold out at retail. Its RRP was £56.95 and I picked this up for £55. What the hell is Gratamaco? Well, it is a blend of wines consisting of 65% Cabernet Sauvignon, 20% Merlot, and 15% Sangiovese wine, of which I have never heard of. In the glass. Big like kumquat on the nose. I had to look that up because I knew exactly the flavor and knew exactly what it smelled like, but I could not put my finger on what the exact flavor was. On top of that, big toffee notes, big sweet sugary toffee. And just a hint of like grape candy, which could be the wine thing coming through. It could just be coincidence. Right up front on the palette, it's like classic Glenallachy, beautiful, fruity, sweet apples and pears, really nice, rich space side. But on the back end of that, there comes through like a, a wine funkiness. Now I'm, I really cannot place what this wine funkiness is, but it's like a, a really nice fermenty, or oh, similar to what you get in a Tokai cask. It's got some of that in here. Finish wise, very, very classic kind of Glenallachy with your apples and pears, wonderful sweet stewed fruits, a little bit of a fresh apple thing right towards the back end. And then that wine funkiness, that fermentiness just kind of sits really, really low at the back. I recently made a video uh, reviewing all of my Glen Allicky bottles so far and this is up there with some of the better ones in the collection. This is absolutely fantastic, especially for 50 quid. Next up we have the Bimba Oloroso cask batch 2. This is a no age statement English whiskey, which is bottled up at 51.7%. It is unchill filtered, it is natural colour, and it is a vatting of ex bourbon casks and sherry butts. This once again is unfortunately sold out. It retailed for £74.95 and I picked this up for 50 quid. I didn't know Bimber kind of really well until quite recently. Um, I picked up a couple of other bottles and I've got to say, I am very, very much enjoying them. Hence, when I saw this at the tail end of the auction, I thought I'd take a punt, and I'm very happy that I did. On the front end, it's got that big bimba-like spicy peaches note. And right behind that, wonderful hot cross buns, very specifically hot cross buns. On the palette, right up front, 
it's like red berries and strawberry jam and then immediately turns super chocolatey and spicy. Think like spiced chai latte. On the finish, that chai latte note kind of really hangs around with almost like a wisp, a wisp of like sweet, sweet smoke. As it develops, it kind of turns almost like a bitter chocolate kind of thing going on. And then as that, as that kind of dies down, the red fruits come forward again and it kind of finishes like a little bit sweet. Overall, I'm super, super happy with this. I think this was an absolute steal. It's a fantastic whiskey, and to be quite honest, I'd be prepared to maybe pay 65, 70 pounds for a bottle of this, but the fact I got it at 50, I gotta say I'm genuinely over the moon. And last up, something that many of you are probably quite familiar with. This is the Kilkerran eight-year-old cask strength sherry cask. This is of course an eight-year-old Campbelltown whiskey from the Glengyle distillery. This is bottled up at 57.5%. It is unchill filtered, it is natural color, and it has been fully matured in sherry casks. It retailed for £58.95 and I paid just a little bit more at 60. Now in my defense, as far as I understand, I don't know what batch number this is. I actually know very, very little about Kilkerran or the Glengyle Distillery and how they batch and release stuff, but I know a lot of people went bloody wild for this. So I was very, very interested to see it pop up at auction. And when I put my bid on it, I'd noticed there were bottles going for upwards of 80, 90, 100 pounds. So I just scrolled through a few pages, dropped a bid on one and just didn't expect to win it. So I was very, very surprised when I got the notification saying, congratulations, you've won these bottles and this was on there. The nose initially is smoky and salty. Immediately, it turns kind of meaty and sweet, almost like a kind of like sweet, meaty barbecue sauce. Think like the morning after barbecue when you go to clean up and you lift it and you've kind of got all the sweet, smoky notes coming off the palate. The first thing that hits me is like juicy, sweet sherry, like red berries. And then immediately turns almost like a chili spice. Think like a really sweet, sweet chili jam. As you go back, it kind of bounces between raspberry candy, like really, really sweet, fruity deliciousness and like dark, ashy wood smoke. I'm going to pour myself some more. Finish wise, on the mouth it's like strawberry jam and fruit, but like the retro nasal olfaction, like as you breathe out, that's where you get all of the, the smoky, ashy, sooty notes. It's almost like two completely different flavor profiles in your mouth and like your nose. Overall, I really understand why the hype about this is um is quite as big as it is. This is an absolutely stunning whiskey and for paying what like two pound twenty five, one pound twenty five over the odds, um yeah, I'm quite happy with that, especially given the availability. So in total with the nineteen pound commission fees that I had to pay, I had spent one hundred and eighty four pounds eighty. If I'd have bought all these bottles for their RRP, that would have cost me £190.85, which means in total I saved £6.5. Quite honestly, I think that's an enormous win. I've ended up with three, well at least two, quite hard to get hold of bottles, I believe, um, for paying not much more than retail. And overall, including fees, I still made quite a nice save. And that's at least two malt of the months in a, in the pot still. So a very happy result for me indeed. But anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And as usual, an extra special thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Without them, I would not be able to buy any of these bottles and make these videos. Let me know down below if you have taken part in the recent auction. Let me know what you won and if there's any belters that you won big on. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, Slangevar.